Well, hello and welcome to Jimodism. We're here with your host, Eric. We are back for the Gimlet Battles. So, this is the CPX Wildfire from uh, Povrax, or the Secret Advisor, as I do believe the username on YouTube. Still, me. In any case, this is another submission from uh, Kovrax because surprisingly enough, uh, the previous battle against the Gimle with the uh, now my mind, uh, my memory doesn't work quite uh, very good, but the previous ship he sent in did uh, not win. It actually lost. And that's quite surprising because, uh, well, uh, most of the ships historically that Kovrax has sent in has absolutely won and handed its opposition its ass. However, um, we have this rule of not spamming diff guns. <laughs> and that kind of messes up with the Kovrax usual strategy. So in any case, this is a not a diff gun spam. We do have a lot of wooden blocks. Uh, but as you may see in here, it's exactly 100,000 blocks, which is the uh, limit that was decided upon uh, as max, uh, yeah, the max amount of blocks you can have. So you can see, you can really see it really uses the bulk strategy that the Gimla has, but on an entirely, entirely other level. So we have these massive wooden structures, as you can see here. A very interesting and beautifully, beautifully designed small lifeboats here. I do really like the interior work that has been put into this design, and it's amazing to see that uh, it's amazing to see that Kovrax really upped the decorative game uh, from the previous missions. You can see we have some beautiful ammo boxes. We'll, we'll like have a proper little interior here in this wooden superstructure area. This makes the gimless superstructure area look tiny in comparison. In any case, uh, we can check a little bit quickly here. We're opting for slow guns, slow uh, um, APS guns, of course. And these are have big frag no oh, uh, sorry we have yeah a frag on that one too and we have high explosive here and we have a shield disruptor and we have munition defense so probably it's gonna try and shoot down him less uh, crams will be very interesting but i do believe we should jump straight into the battle yeah, so this is an official submission, by the way, if I didn't make that clear. <laughs> so if this wins or loses, some of the other components whoops, are going to meet this beast. All right, let the battle begin. This is going to be so interesting. Oh, so we're shooting shots in volleys here. Rams missing. Oh, look at that. I do think we might have a burst flak system here. The wildfire is definitely in the lead here. That pack should hurt. Ooh, look at that. Look at that flak shooting down the gimless crams. We got the cram popping in there, okay. Very, very interesting. Another cram coming in there. Oh, yes. We should just pause here. We can check out. We have some frag here. That is very, very interesting. So many frag on many different places. You can see here that the Gimla has been dug. Oh my lord, look at this. I did not see this good damage here. That was so close to the AI. We have a fire in the front steam engine here. Uh, oh wow, that's so many parts missing. And the extreme bulk it comes with is of course very, 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 very hard to tackle. 
the Gimla has some systems to deal with um, bulk like this. But most of the Gimla systems are indeed not set up to deal with this type of bulk. To deal with that, you would need to go for... Yeah, probably like this, 180 frag. And of course, since it's wood, I think Incendiary would be a pretty nice addition. Wow, this is going really fast. I think that uh, Kovrax has been tweaking on this design very many times to ensure a victory since uh, the previous ship's uh, um, failure to win. Bam! That is... This is not even close. This is one minute and the wildfire completely outclasses the Gimle already. Like, a lot. This is not even close. Wow. I, I will be surprised if we get any other results on the next battle. But I do really think that the Gimle is using its laser power to try to tackle those incoming frags instead of using the damage laser to start the fire in the wildfire, which is the only way to win this thing. So yeah, we can see there, we have some good metal armor here. That is a very, very, very interesting. So we have, this is so much more armor than uh, what is usually built in here. We have a little shield in there too. That's very, very interesting. And of course, wood, we have the gun below. Right, just wanted to check. Man, 63 percentages, one minute. I think this is the fastest battle so far. It is, of course, going to be best of three. So it's, of course, possible that the Gimli was just very unlucky. In any case, I will say huge thanks to everyone who's supporting the channel. Uh, either if it's on uh, the new Ministry of Jumadism uh, via Fourth Wall, or if it's on Patreon as a commissioned officer, or if it's in the Ecclesiarchy of Jumadism via YouTube memberships. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, it helps a lot. And Povrax is indeed in the Ecclesiarchy of YouTube memberships. So that should definitely be mentioned during. Uh, Set battle here. In any case, we can see that the first battle, well, 95% versus 52. The wildfire absolutely wins this, no question about it. Easy win. Wow. Well, I guess we're moving on to second round. All right, so we are back for the second round. Let's unpause this. And we just absolutely have to check out what's happening here. You can see we have the cramps incoming here. We have the frag shots already fired from the uh, right guns. And I do believe it's the left guns. There we go. Maybe? Right, uh, I don't know. Some guns. Probably. Switching to flak, maybe? And firing that. I'm not exactly sure how it works. It just... It, I think I remember Kovrak saying th something about switching ammo in some way. I don't know, but it sounded pretty cool and pretty advanced and it was about switching ammo for the guns so that it... And I'm, I'm not sure if it's even this ship. But in any case, it's almost impossible to see how that works. Oh no, a cram barrel got clipped. But we can see that the cram shots being fired seem to have a really hard time reaching. So let's just follow this one and see what happens again. And yeah, you can see it just spams the air with flag shots or Munition, defense, uh, whatever, what they are called now. 
it just spams the air with it and there we had a rare cram popping through we can see that the uh, ammunition and things like that are just so spread out this is probably an ai and the laser is being focused on doing lambs so it really looks pretty bad for the gimla during this battle as well look at that oh damn <laughs> and oh that frag just tears at the gimla at this uh, time i think the gimla would uh, be very happy would have it, having some crams or to throw back because this is just uh very brutal we lost a big turret here too jack you can see it it will consistently be able to deliver this uh, uh these uh black system from what i've seen i'm not sure exactly how it does it you can see that one somehow also got destroyed very impressive we can see that even though we have such a high black block count the game's speed is not totally decimated i think it's mostly the frag that's causing the lamb a lot of people put a little bit too much importance in the uh, in a, in the block count being lagged. That's only a problem if you have too little RAM, basically. But here we can see the second battle, the Gimla class battleship is down to 58 percentages. Damn. It has lost the second battle as well, and it took under two minutes. That's so insane. Well, congratulations, Kovrax. You definitely will be slapped in the winner's bracket when the Gimle is losing this battle very much. So that's that's pretty cool. I guess I well, you really fixed and improved on everything that was not really working with your previous design that lost against the Gimle. And you made a design which is has been winning faster than any other design has been winning so far. So that is highly, highly impressive. Well, I do want to ask you all this uh, in the comments. Some people listen to drone music while watching YouTube videos, you know, multitasking like people are doing today. And and some people are tired on from the depth music, which I kind of was... Uh, today so i turn it off but would you prefer me just putting using from depth music or do you think i should uh, put in my own music like we did uh, for some videos uh, like we do for some videos or do you think it's pretty cool that we don't have any background music so that you can have whatever you want please tell me in the comments so that i'll know anyways we are going to jump in to a third battle that won't of course affect the results but just to see the action of it as per kovrak's own suggestion we will put two gimles against the wildfire that uh, was his suggestion and i do think that uh, he knew that the gimler would most likely very much uh, lose uh, and uh, well let's put this to the test i don't know let's put my computer to the test i don't know if we even can do this this took forever to load well i hope the gimlets aren't too close to each other we shall see indeed and how will the wildfire choose to target is the question now we're having loads of lambs being spread all over the place. The wildfire decides to target the left Gimla. And the Gimla's lambs are teaming up and trying to take out that swarm of uh, fragmentations. And they are like able to take out, I don't know, 20% of them. <laughs> <laughs> not more and that's the annoying thing we can't oh i 
it, it looks like we might need to restart this battle. Uh, if the gimless collide, I do already know that my computer will not be able to take that lag. We, we see if they are smart or if they choose to be uh, unsmart. That will decide with, uh, whether we need to restart this. They should not collide, but when we're dealing with big ships like this, you never know what we're gonna do. But it actually looks like the right Gimla decided to stop, then uh, even go backwards to avoid getting shot at, getting uh, slammed by the left Gimla. That's amazing. That's amazing. Sometimes the uh, avoidance system works. Now we have entered degraded mood. Well. That sucks, but uh, that's something we'll just have to count with. Are you kidding me? Anyways. And we are having mortars popping down here even. That is just too funny. Wow, okay, so the uh, one Gimle is able to uh, have some fun with the laser which target hot blocks and that's of course a very good idea for it since we have shield blocks to target here and if we, we are targeting the shield blocks well of course it's going to uh, be able to melt on the turrets which is very 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 smart i do really think that the gimler would have a lot better chance uh, if uh, if this particular gimless configuration against this particular ship would be that the lamps were just disabled. Because we can clearly see that the lasers are doing completely all the heavy lifting. But of course, uh, the gimle is up for public download, so uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the, if Kovrax has uh, tested about how much APS you need to keep the gimless lambs busy all the time. And if you can keep the gimless lambs busy all the time, well, you're probably going to keep most ships' lambs busy all the time. So that is a good thing to do. Uh, the gimla has invested a lot in anti uh, ram systems. And of course, since uh, the uh, wildfire doesn't use neither crams nor missiles, uh, all those systems are just wasted material in this particular battle. Man. Look, the Gimlis is at 88 versus 85 percentages and the wildfire is at 87 percentages. It's doing a pretty darn good job staying alive with two Gimlets targeting it. That is just so impressive. Look at that. We have exited degraded mood. I wonder why. What happened to that? Well, I think maybe we are reaching the shot limit. Hmm. It looks suspicious, suspiciously like the uh, yeah, like like the projectile or frag limit or something is getting reached because I see some despawnings from time to time. Let's see if that flak system is still active. Oh. Look at those. We had some beautiful hits with the mortars there. These mortars are very weak, but since they are hollow point, they are especially good against this particular ship. Look at that. Laser. Seems like the wildfire has decided to target the other Gimlin now instead. That's a big frag explosion. A lot of blocks missing there, but the turret seems to be... Oh, the turret is not alright. That's just too much damage. A lot of stone and wood to keep it protected. 
And we have this like turret well inside a turret well. Interesting. How that works. Well. That's, that looks pretty cool. It really looks like it's absolutely tearing away at these blocks now. When we have two Gimless teaming up, well, it's absolutely insane if one could survive two Gimless. <laughs> then I really feel I need to update the ship. Then. And, and I did those uh, because I could optimize the Gimler against uh, some specific uh, uh, ships. Um, due to me knowing their weaknesses. Oh, we had a frag explosion there, man. Ammo explosion. In any case, I, I knew some weaknesses of the, uh, for example, the Titan Slang in the Ragnarok. So I, uh, you may have seen those battle. I could just put two of them against one Gimla and uh, could reach winning results with the Gimlas. The, the Titan Slang, not the Raccoon Slang. Did I say wrong? I don't remember. It confuses me that they're all called something with slang. So, <laughs> excuse if I said wrong, because the Gimla, the Gimla can't beat to to uh, the new the new ones, the Raccoon Slang. They can't beat two of them. Two of them. Uh, the Gimla beat uh, the Raccoon Slang Mark Two, but it lost against the Raccoon Slang Mark One Point Five. So since it is, it wins some, it loses some against the Dragon Slangs. We absolutely do know that uh, they are very equal ships. In any case, this is absolutely going to be a win for the Gimlas. They're down to eighty-five percentages, and I think that the Gimla would be able to use one of its laser system basically made all the difference. I think that it could be interesting maybe in a future battle just to try and disable the Gimlas Lamb system and see how it uh, goes when it goes against the Wildfire. Because of course it will be damaged quicker but it also will have the ability to deal uh, damage since the Wildfire was really good at keeping the Gimla very busy with all those uh, incoming frag shells. Well, the wildfire is down to 54 percentages, so I do really think that uh, this is going to be it for this little battle. I wonder what this shell has. Is it a tiny frag? Oh, it's a damaged shell, isn't it? We can see the state of the gamblers here. Probably pause the game a little bit. Because now we're lagging. So, you can see that the... Wow. Look at that AI core. So, the wildfire was just... Tiny, minuscule bits of luck. Away from just AI killing the Gimlet straight out. Wow. And how is this Gimlet doing? Well, it has been taking some severe damage of course it's down by 20 percentages and with the bulky design like the gimla well that will be noticeable and we can see that even on this one the ai is kind of scratched and if we had some other it's like the, the wildfire could potentially beat two gimlas in any case, hope you enjoyed this little battle. We're lagging so much now with the wildfire <laughs> despawning because that's a lot of blocks falling off now. But it was really fun and uh, awesome submission from um, Kovrax, an elevated member in the Ecclesiarch of Gymnasium for this wildfire ship. It goes into the winner's bracket, of course. See you next time. This is your host, Jim Odesim, and we are very much signing out.